Welcome to Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Erica Gregory is a little like Isaiah in our day. She's warning us about the proliferation of nuclear weapons, and she's offering ideas to give us hope that we might actually find a way of converting them from weapons to powerfully helpful sources of energy. What she is doing, no matter what her religion, is in keeping with the social teaching of the Catholic Church, from Pope St. John XXIII to Pope Francis, and getting rid a weapons of mass destruction. All of us worry when there are security crises that hover around and over us, and we tend to want to build arsenals to protect ourselves and try to make alliances that sometimes are not good, but seem to bring us a sense of protection. We forget that God alone is the only one who can save us. This is like Ahaz in the scripture reading today. Ahaz was a king in Jerusalem around 700 years before Jesus was born. He made a foolish agreement with a wicked king in order to try and keep his power. But he didn't believe the God of Israel. Isaiah came to warn him that he needed to place his trust only in God. Ahaz was afraid. The Lord, understanding Ahaz's weakness and fear, spoke to him again through the prophet Isaiah, telling him to ask for a sign so that he could believe and put his trust in God. But Ahaz refused and put his hope in the foolish treaty instead, and the Assyrians devastated his kingdom. Still, God had mercy on his people and promised that the Messiah would come someday to save his people, giving them hope for the future. Erica Gregory tries to wake us up to what's happening in our world today. She asks, for example, how much weapons-grade nuclear material would it take to level a city the size of San Francisco? Under the right circumstances, she says, highly enriched uranium the size of your morning latte would be enough to kill a hundred thousand people instantly, make hundreds of thousands of others ill, and cause parts of the city to be uninhabitable for years. Yet we have over 15,000 nuclear weapons among nine nations. Why? Why are we spending trillions of dollars on weapons that would destroy our beautiful planet? Well, Erica is working with experts from diverse backgrounds to help find ways to educate people and to try to find solutions that build up and don't tear down. We can all make the mistake of looking at alliances and actions that will certainly prove destructive. While we may not have Erica's expertise, we need to take action based on the challenge of the gospel and on the social teachings of the Catholic Church. Perhaps people such as Erica can guide us 
in ways of doing that. Ultimately, our hope must not be in weapons and unworthy alliances, but only in God. Erica Gregory is our 19th Ornament of Grace. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Observing the beautiful ornaments. Can you understand Ahaz's insecurities? And can you name ways you might be a bit like Ahaz? How can you, trusting in God, fight like Erica Gregory to rid the world of destructive weapons and alliances and work for peace? If you have good news, we expect you to want to share it. Salvation in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who for love of us and for our salvation came down from heaven. Salvation in His name, and He is the only Savior, is what we are on earth for. Therefore, all those who spread the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ, we should encourage them. I can speak, but how many people can I reach alone? But the media, the television people, the radio, the newspapers and all those who use the computer and its derivatives in various ways to spread the gospel. We must thank them. We must encourage them. We must work with them so that they can continue to spread the good news. There is so much news that is not so wonderful in the world, but there is also news that is wonderful on the gospel of Jesus Christ. We encourage them and beg God to bless them, especially the Shalom, World TV. God bless you. Shalom World, God's own channel.